Hey guys, now I get a lot of messages from people on social media and on YouTube that ask me, hey Daniel, please give me a few tips to look better. But at the same time, a lot of them complain and say, I don't look as good as other people. And that's the problem. You should stop trying to compare yourself to other people or try to look better than them or better than your friends. Your goal should always be just to improve yourself. The idea here is not to compete against other people, but to compete against yourself so that you are better than the you from yesterday. You see what I'm saying? So with that being said, in this video, I'm gonna give you 10 tips, 10 simple things that every guy can do to look better. Let's get to it. Uh. I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief Know what I want, so I'll take it on I'll make mistakes, but mistakes make you strong Now just very quick, if it's your first time here on my channel I'm Daniel and welcome to DLM Model Lifestyle Consider subscribing and also clicking that notification bell So you won't miss any of the next videos Now, let's not waste any more time Let's get right into the first tip You gotta get into grooming now, I can talk a lot about this, but let me just mention a few things. If you only have two or three hairs, shave it off. Because chances are, you're the type of guy that looks better shaved. You're not gonna look good with just three or four long hairs. That, that just looks, no, 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 no. But, on the other hand, if you do have a nice beard, trim it the right way so that it fits in with your face shape and with your hairstyle. But please, if you do have a beard. Please trim these neck hair here because if you just leave them here, you look like a lazy slob. Now, I feel like I almost don't have to say this because you probably already know this, but if you're uncomfortable with your body, do something about it. If you feel overweight, it will look better if you get in shape and if you lose some weight. On the other hand, if you're too skinny, gain some muscle and start to live a healthy lifestyle. Why? Well, because if you eat healthier, if you maintain a healthy lifestyle, you will have more energy to take on the challenges that every day brings. Clothes, number two, will also look a lot better on you. And number three, you will be, feel, and look healthy to other people. And number four, it will also give you a lot more confidence in yourself. So be honest with yourself. Just look at yourself in the mirror. If you're not happy with the way you look, then start today and change it. Because here's the truth. We can't always change our genes that we got from our mom and dad, right? But we can change our bodies at the gym or eating healthy. You gotta get more hygienic. I mean, you might get used to yourself, the way you smell your sweat and your breath, but I guarantee you, that other people can pick it up quickly. And it is very off-putting if you just walk around and suddenly you smell something, or if you stand with a few friends and you smell like, oh man, and then you wonder why somebody just leaves or try to avoid you. So all you gotta do is when you get out of the shower, put some antiperspirant on, and then you're safe for the whole day. You know you're not gonna smell, all right? Second, when you brush your teeth, Brush your tongue as well. And then also your nails. Dirty nails is a big no-no. So take care of your nails so that they are short and clean. Get into skincare. Why? Because your skin represents you every single day of your life. Now, some guys still think that, eh, it's not so important, it's fine, I'm just, I just look like what I am, I don't need to take care of myself. But then they wonder why so many women out there are not so interested in them. I can assure you, if you have a girlfriend or a wife, they will love it if you take care of your skin. It's not about self-importance, but it has to do with self-respect. Think about this for a while. Do you think that it is always easy for a woman to shave her legs, shave her underarms, to walk in high heels, put on makeup, and dress up, to do all this effort for you. Of course not. So you can also do a little bit of effort. 
You don't have to go crazy, but you can just start a basic skincare routine that will help you to look better and healthier. And if you're not sure which products to use, I'll add a few good options for you in the video description down below that you can check out. Know your weak points and how to control it effectively. Nobody is perfect, not me and not you. We all have weak points. First, you gotta learn how to accept it. And then you also need to learn how to control it. So let me share some of my weak points. I've always had a big forehead and a receding hairline, right? So I never wear my hair all the way back, but I bring it a little bit forward. And also, I don't have any coughs. I've got very, very small coughs that I got from my dad. I accepted it, but I will never ever wear baggy shorts because then it just looks even smaller. So all I do is I just wear slim fit shorts and then it looks better. I'm not shy to share these things with you guys because I'm just a normal human being just like you. I am completely content with all my weak points because I've learned how to handle it the right way and so can you. Unwanted hair. Let's talk about this. You gotta trim your hair. If you start to get those unwanted hair, like the nose hair, you gotta trim it because when you're in a conversation with somebody, they'll be distracted a lot more with those hair creeping out than what you're saying in the conversation. And if you have those hair right between your eyebrows, get rid of it. Now you don't have to tweeze all your eyebrows, but if you have a unibrow, it's gotta go. But then again, if you have also those bush kind of eyebrows, then you can also tweeze them just a little bit to look more natural. But please, never wax it, because then you have those fixed straight lines and just leave that for women. You gotta choose the right size clothing. A lot of people miss this. Never wear oversized clothes, like those huge baggy jeans or on the other end, those very super skinny jeans. And especially if you're buff, if you've got a lot of muscle, don't be that guy. You know, the guy that walks around like this, two shirts that are too small for him because he just wants everybody to see his body. They can see right through you. And most people actually hate it because nobody likes puffed up, arrogant people walking around with that expression on their face that says, oh, look at me. No, that's just off-putting. But confidence that is humble is always attractive. And wearing clothes that hold close to your body is most flattering. Not two sizes too small or two sizes too big. All you gotta do is just look for slim fit labels on clothing. Good communication and good posture. This is extremely important. Why? Well, because when you speak with people, it always looks better if you have good posture and if you speak clearly and with confidence. It changes your whole look. Imagine if I did this video with just a slouchy posture like this and then if I just speak soft and a little bit unclear, uh, not making eye contact, not energy. You see what I mean? So, you might say, yeah, well, Daniel, it's easy for you to say. Well, actually, no, it's not. I had to teach myself to adopt these new habits. It is skills that everybody can learn. It's just, it just feels so hard at the beginning because you're just so used to your old habits. Invest in a classic wardrobe. Now it's important not to buy clothes just because you want to, but invest in good quality clothing that will never ever go out of style so that you can wear it for a very long time because it saves you money and you also look stylish. Timeless basic clothing is the backbone of my own and any other stylish guy's wardrobe out there. The basics of a navy suit or a blazer, white dress shirts, dark denim, easy to layer tees, and even an all-purpose trench coat means that you will always be able to appear stylish. And you can also add 
stylish and trendy items to the classic look. And hey, if you want to look into the basic clothing essentials, I'll add my list for in the video description that you can check out. Check your attitude. If you got all the other nine tips down, but your attitude stinks, those nine tips is not gonna help you at all. But humility is the greatest quality that man can have. And arrogance is undoubtedly the worst. And there's a very, very thin line between confidence and arrogance. And you need to know the difference. And it doesn't matter what you achieve in your life. It doesn't give you the right to look down on other people. Arrogance is used by the weak and the insecure. But kindness is used by the strong. And it is much needed in the world that we live in today. Now, if you're new here on my channel, you might like one of these videos. And uh, remember to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.